Although the memoirs of JFK is an invention, both its factual aspects and post-assassination conjectures are informed by the author's interview with some 50 sources close to Kennedy. And these were quality people. Uh, Kennedy's best friend was a man named Red Fay, who during his administration, I think he was an undersecretary of the Navy or something. They had been in PT boats together during World War II. Seeing him was astonishing. Uh, he and, and Kennedy would go sailing uh, on the Honey Fitz, Kennedy's boat, uh, which they, their house in High Annsport was right on the water. And they'd go out for a sail, and they would talk. And Red Fay told me what they talked about, and told me about events that happened uh, uh, that I had never heard of. Uh, while they were out one day, uh, he got a communication from Washington, from the Situation Room or wherever these things emanate, saying that uh, the Russians had launched a rocket and it was headed towards the United States. And uh, it's what does Kennedy want to do? And uh, I was, I said, my God, I've never heard that story. And in my novel, Kennedy says, you're damn right you haven't because I've never told it to anybody and I told Red not to repeat it. But what happened in the following minutes gives you uh, an instance of John Kennedy and his finest. I was taking this somewhere that uh, nobody had gone before. Mind you, this was in the 80s. Uh, today, other people have taken that same journey, but not with the people who were alive at the time and who had been kind of close to Kennedy. Uh, I'm the one who saw those people. It, it, it remains the, most, the biggest challenge I ever gave myself and the biggest disappointment I ever had because uh, my agent, uh, Sterling Lord, could not find a publishing house that would touch it. And uh, I, I feel uh, and have felt I've, I've done a lot of work on it since, but the essence of it, the story of it, the things that happened, and why he came to the decision, so on, all that is stuff I gained from my discussions with people who are no longer with us, and uh, for the most part. To that extent, this, even though it, I'm not publishing it until many, many years later, uh, it still, I believe and hope, has. Uh, taking nothing away from others and their books, uh, I think I can stand by my information and conclusions, bearing in mind that it's a novel, not nonfiction, uh, with a great degree of confidence that uh, if I'm not right on the truth, I'm close, as close to the truth as one can humanly get.